Super Mario Brothers. Wee Fast forward to October 20th, 2023, and the newest installment of Super Mario Bros. was released onto the Nintendo Switch. Super Mario Bros. Wonder. With a vast array of new things to do in a Super Mario Bros. game, it is very similar to the other Super Mario Bros. platformer games. Although it's a very similar gameplay style to the others, there's so much to do. It begs the question though, if every Super Mario Bros. platformer game was released at the same time, which one would be the best? In order to start, we need to first go way back to the release of new Super Mario Bros. on the DS on May 15th, 2006. New Super Mario Bros, a game that revolutionized the gaming industry at the time, causing the creation of many of the games that we play even right now. This is not the first of the many Super Mario Bros games of course, but this is where we will be starting our journey. The first impression of the game is, it's a fun game. It's a feel good game that even in the moment gives feelings of nostalgia. Right away I'm ready to go on this multi-world adventure and save the day. World 1 introduces us to the power up called the Mega Mushroom. This power up was a very interesting addition to the new Super Mario Bros game because it lets you destroy everything in your path, even blocks that aren't meant to be broken normally. Another new power up introduced in this game early on is the blue shell. With the blue shell on, you gain the power to turn into and dash forward as a shell, much like a Koopa after being stomped and kicked or thrown. With that being said, the powers in this game are fun. They're very new and unique powers. Are they better than the powers in the other games? No. But that does not mean that they aren't good power-ups. What is the game? What is the premise of the game? And what is our story? New Super Mario Bros. starts out with Bowser Jr. taking Princess Peach away, and it is our job to go on an adventure to save her. We must go world by world, leaving stomped enemies and many bosses in the dust to eventually get to World 8. Here I go. Although we do fight Bowser Jr. a lot through this game, most of which are the same fights structurally, there are many unique bosses to appreciate, all of which leads up to the final boss fight against Bowser. This boss fight, after the buildup of the entire game, with many amazing enemies and bosses, was a little bit anticlimactic when looking at it from a buildup point of view. Was it a fun boss fight? Heck yeah. But was it worth the entire game leading up to it? I'm afraid not. Regardless of the final boss fight, this game is a revolutionary masterpiece that deserves all of the appreciation that it gets. First impressions, 8 out of 10. This game felt refreshing to play, it felt new, and different in the best way possible. Power-ups, 6 out of 10. Although there were new and interesting power on display in this game, there was a lot more potential to be had with the usefulness of the new power-ups. Mini-bosses, 8 out of 10. Every unique mini-boss in the new Super Mario Bros. game carries the rating. Unfortunately, with the quantity of Bowser Jr. fights that there is, the rating goes down just a hair. Final boss fight, 5 out of 10. The music was good, and the boss fight itself was fun. However, it was a little bit anticlimactic. The overall score of the new Super Mario Bros. game is 27 out of 40. To get to our next game, we will go forward just a few years to November 12th, 2009 for the release of... 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 of Here we go! Or slide by on our bellies. Ride with our friends. No matter how we play, with four-player new Super Mario Brothers Wii, we'll be playing together. New Super Mario Brothers Wii! <laughs> New Super Mario Bros. Wii was released onto the Wii console as a remastered version of New Super Mario Bros. on the DS. The first impression of this game is just... Wow. Following the menu screen, we're put into this easy-to-follow cutscene where we're introduced to our mini-bosses, new power-ups, and the premise of the game itself. World 1 showcases the brand new power-up, the propeller power. 
and right off the bat this power is very fun to use. It can be used to get to high places and look cool doing it and for finding many secret stars along your journey. World 3 showcases the use of the second new power up, the penguin power. And you are literally a penguin. I would turn on my Wii and play the game just so I could be a penguin and slide around. Something I like that they did compared to the new Super Mario Bros on the DS was that they expanded the speed at which you acquire the newly added power-ups. Meaning that you don't just get them all right away. The question is though, are they better power-ups than those in other games in the Super Mario Bros series? Yes. These two new powers are some of the most fun power-ups to use in all of Super Mario Bros games, and the playability with these two new power-ups is just crazy. What is the game, what is the premise of the game, and what is our story? New Super Mario Bros. Wii starts out with the whole Bowser crew taking Princess Peach away, and we must go on a journey through the worlds, much like the DS version. This game showcases entirely new mini-bosses from the DS version, all of which are customized to their specific worlds, and they become more and more difficult to beat as the worlds pass, all of which leads up to the final boss fight against Bowser. And let me tell you, this boss fight is something else. First impression, 9 out of 10. Right away we're introduced to the journey ahead and we're given every reason to be pumped to embark on that adventure. Power-ups, 9 out of 10. These power-ups are some of the most fun powers in all of the platformer Mario games by far. Mini bosses, 7 out of 10. These bosses were fun and I appreciate how they became more and more difficult through each world, but the mini bosses in New Super Mario Brothers on the DS were much more unique and interesting. Final boss fight. 10 out of 10. This is the epitome of what a final boss fight should be. The entire game summed up to one moment and one last cinematic intense fight. The overall score of new Super Mario Bros. on the Wii is 35 out of 40. To get to our next game, we will go forward another few years to November 18th, 2012 for the release of new Super Mario Bros. U. New Super Mario Bros. U was released on the Wii U as a remake of the New Super Mario Bros. Wii. The first impression of this game is... It was not the best. I appreciate how big the world map was and how polished the game was, but this game feels like an easier version of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. If you beat both the Wii version and the U version 100%, the Wii version feels so much more intense and rewarding. Regardless of the difficulty decrease, the game was pretty enjoyable. It's a wonderful and fun game to play with your family, and it still has many moments that outshine the rest. This time, instead of going to World 8 to save Princess Peach, Bowser takes over her castle and we must adventure back to it. We still do go world by world, but the overall premise of the game is completely different. All of which leads up to the final boss fight against Bowser at Peach's castle. This boss fight was a very big letdown compared to the boss fight in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. It is a much easier and less intense fight with many safety nets to ensure that you don't die. What I and most others would have very much liked is if when Bowser falls off after being defeated, he comes back as Dry Bowser for one last fight. Now that would have been cool. First impression, 4 out of 10. 
I wasn't all that hooked into the storyline right away, but the world map definitely got me intrigued. Power-ups. 7 out of 10. The carry of the power-up score goes to the propeller power and the penguin power being in this game still. Mini-bosses. 6 out of 10. These mini-bosses felt a little bit toned down and much easier than the other mini-bosses in other games, which resulted in them being a little bit on the boring side. Final boss fight. 6 out of 10. It's very unfortunate that the boss fight had so much potential, but it was much less climactic than it could have been. The overall score of New Super Mario Bros. U is 23 out of 40. Fast forward to October 20th, 2023, and the newest installment of Super Mario Bros. was released. Did I not say that already? What the heck? That's weird. Dude, dude, dude. If every Super Mario Bros. platformer game was released at the same time, which one, one, one would be? The first impression of the game is... This game felt very refreshing and honestly it was really fun. It felt like a true Super Mario Bros. game with a ton of new things to do. It's definitely a very polished game with a lot of thought put into it. With a massive world map, new power-ups that are very useful, and badges, there's so much potential with this game. Although there's a lot to do in this game, the mini-boss fights were a little bit of a letdown because it was all just Bowser Jr. But the boss fight was very fun and much differently structured. The duration of the boss fight was very good compared to most of the other boss fights, and it felt like a true final battle to save the world. Was it better than the other boss fights? Yes, but at the same time, no. This boss fight was action-packed and had many phases, which alone makes it better than the DS and the U boss fight, but nothing beats the final boss fight in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Something that I appreciate the most that this game has compared to the other Super Mario Bros. games is how useful the power-ups are throughout the entire game. And same with the badge system. You can use every new power-up on almost every single level in the game. First impression, 8 out of 10. Super Mario Bros. Wonder felt refreshing and new in the best way possible, and it felt like it had lots of effort put into it. Power-ups, 10 out of 10. These power-ups are very fun, useful, and the playability with them is just amazing. Like I said, almost every single level you can use all of the newly added power-ups. Mini-bosses, 4 out of 10. Every mini-boss fight, unfortunately, was all just Bowser Jr. Final boss fight, 8 out of 10. This boss fight was fun, it was interesting, and it felt like a real Bowser boss battle. The overall score of Super Mario Bros. Wonder is 30 out of 40. Now, after our journey from the past to the present, these are all of our scores for the new Super Mario Bros. series. New Super Mario Bros. Wii did a lot right, and for that reason, it is the winner.